Hello, Vince here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use that file that we just used in the last um, one, the Flash 3, and we're going to add some interactivity to it and a readable text. It's going to be, uh, it'll be groovy. Okay, groovy? Yeah, that's a word. All right, so back in Flash 8 here, you can do the same thing in 6, 7, 8, or 9. I'm going to go to the recent items here. Flash text over background. Okay. There we are. Okay. Now it comes in. It's all big and everything. So, remember what we like to do here is, let's see, am I going to need this? Uh, probably won't need this right now, so I'm going to close that. I'm going to go up here to the percentage, the viewing percentage. Click on there and go up to fit in window. There we go. We're going to change this text because it's pretty lame. So, we're going to, um, since it's editable, we we'll double click on that. The beauty of nature. Oh, nice. The beauty of nature. Okay. Now I'm going to go right there. And so that's nice. Should we make that a script font maybe? No, nah, we'll leave it like that because it's lovely. You can change it to whatever font you would like to. So we're going to put that right there. Uh, let's see. Bump it down a little. Now we'll go to the next picture and see if it's in a good spot for that, beautiful spot for that. I think that's going to happen. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to add a um, this little strip underneath this. is going to make it really easy to read. Okay, so I'm going to click on the seagulls layer because I want to put this um, other thing underneath the title. So click on that. It always adds a layer on top of whatever you have selected. So, we're going to click on that. Now, we're going to put uh, stripe, maybe, um, for lack of a better word. Okay, stripe. Now, lock the title layer. Okay, so now there's the only place that anything can go. Click there. And um, we're going to use the rectangle drawing tool, the rectangle tool. So, click on the rectangle tool. Now, since my text is white, I want it a high contrast, so I'm going to do black as a fill color. Um, let's see, we can do, let's not have a stroke on this. So if you click a little down arrow there, you go over to this not sign, click on that, it will not put a stroke on that. This here with the fill bucket, click on there, go right there to black. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we're going to do, it gives you a little crosshair here. And so I'm going to click, we're going to go all the way across. So I'm going to click right here, click, hold, and drag down. And make this just a little bit bigger than, wider than the text is. About like that. Okay, there we have it. That's pretty easy to read. And I'm going to get the selection tool here. Click on that. Click on this background, and guess what we're going to make it? Yeah, how'd you know? We're going to make it into a movie clip. Okay, so we're going to hit F8. Now, this is MC, so all the movie clips are together, underscore stripe. Okay, I know, it's very creative. Um, registration center, hit OK. Now we have that beautiful movie clip right there. Okay. Uh, good position for that. I'm going to bump it down a little bit because it's got a little more space above than it does down there. So I'm going to use the arrow keys. Just nudge it uh, twice. That's pretty good. All right. So now it goes the whole time. You see? Oops. Okay. Well, it's still only 800. So that's you, you, that's all you're going to see. So let's let's play that. So or view it to make sure it doesn't end before the edge when you're viewing the whole thing. So remember the uh, control test movie or the Apple command return. And let's see how that looks. <coughs> Excuse me. See, you don't see those edges out there. Okay, nice and readable. That's good. But to make it a little more sophisticated looking, a little cooler looking, we're going to change the visibility or the um, alpha of this. And it's, because it's a movie clip, you can do that. So we clicked on that. Go to color alpha. 
Now we don't want it to be transparent. Let's move back up there. We can like, let's see, like 56, 57, 60, around 60-ish. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly 60, right around there. You know, just to taste, basically. I just saved it. Now let me play that through one more time. The Apple Command uh, Return. Now let's see as it goes to the next one. Very nice. It's nice to see a little bit of the picture through it. There. Okay. That's looking pretty decent there. Okay. Now we have that nice uh, little banner there. So sometimes when you have va different backgrounds that vary, it's good to put a little sort of banner underneath the text, and that way it makes it really easy to read. Okay. All right. So let's see. Should we put the thing on there? Yeah, let's get crazy. Now we're going to click, or excuse me, lock the stripe layer. So we have that on there now. Title. We're going to add a new layer. Double click on that. Nav. This is navigation. It's how we're going to get around. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a little button. Okay. So let's see. We could go into... You know what? Let's leave that for next time. Right now we have very readable text here, and that'll be the this tutorial, and we'll add some navigation later. All right. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye.